Hi, today I just want to show you um, a little video about how to do uh, curtains and how to dress your windows with simple uh, items that you might have in the house or else you'll just pick up quite cheap, okay? They're paper doilies, all right? They all come in uh, different sizes, large, medium, small. Now, people always ask me, oh, where can I get curtains? You can buy curtains that are ready-made, okay? Um, they come with the poles and everything and the little tie-backs, just stick them on. Something like that would be about two euro. Uh, they come plain as well, so if you don't have, you can just put them all uh, plain so that you don't have to worry about matching up colors, all right? But what I'm going to do anyway today is use the paper doilies, all right? Um, what you do is, you need to get a doily to know, you know, to match the size of the window you require. So uh, what I'm using today is a small one and a large one, right? So what you do, you first of all get your doily, then you fold it over, okay? Now, why I fold it over rather than cutting it is that at least you have, on this one here that I have, um, it has a pattern on both sides. So you have the pattern from the outside of the house when you're looking in, or when you open the house, you have the pattern as well. Okay, so no, it's very so just to kind of stick it together. What I use is the PVA glue. Uh, just get a little brush. Okay, and what you do, open up and just on one side, brush a little bit of PVA glue. They're so light and they're just paper. You just need a small little bit. Okay, so when you fold it over, it just sticks like so, and it's just a little bit more solid as well. Okay. So then with the large one I have, it's going to be too big for the window. So what I do, again, fold it over. But what I do with this one is that I just roll the top of it, keep rolling it, okay? So that you still have your nice frill at the end, but it actually looks like then, like a pelmet. Okay, so again, you just put a little bit of glue along here, fold it down, and what you're left with is something like this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what to use to put it up. I use tacky wax. It's brilliant. Um, it's just a, it's tacky and it's wax, but things are repositioning. You can reposition pe pieces of, uh, you know, people use it for to set the table or um, put up curtains, but these are so light. Rather than permanently gluing things up, I like to use the tacky wax because you can reposition things or take them down if you got tired of them, okay? So what you do is, this is my window here that I want to dress, okay? Now, hopefully you can see what I'm going to be doing here now. So get my curtain. And I'll just show you now what you do. Again, because you're on the other side of the window, you can actually see, level it, and make sure that it's even on both sides. And you stick it on, just a little, small little bit of tacky wax. Just a little, not even pea size, um, just, oh, the top of a match size, okay? matchstick and again just make sure now that this is even and it looks good to the eye you can be using rulers and everything but I think you can see whether it actually looks good okay so that's it now um, yeah, curtains I think they look really good I close the house now and I can just show you what it's like so the curtains will windows were out and they're with. So yeah, very simple and so easy to do. Okay, thanks a minute. Bye.